Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> also, follow. Uh, um, <clears throat> if you want the longer, finish, longer, uncut, uncircumcised, untamed version of the podcast, they are available on iTunes and on Spotify. Also, if you subscribe, please subscribe down below, and also click the bell notifications because once we upload. Which is the video podcast that you're seeing on Tuesday at 6 p.m. And starting this week, we're going to put out more content. Hey! hey. So, f- Friday, right? Friday is... Expect somewhat. Friday, expect something. <laughs> something. It's going to be a podcast, but it's going to be like a current event podcast. It's not going to be... It's going to be audio only. So, on YouTube, it's going to go live on YouTube. Right, that's the wording, and it's not gonna be videos. It's gonna be like pictures, or this is different. But yeah, it's more content to put out there. Just feel, you know, keep uh, keep staying alive until the weekends. Keep uh, you know, getting good at marketing because we gotta get good at it, <laughs> to be honest. And yeah. then weekends, it just be you know, and expect something special or something extra, like bloopers or them yelling at me or Zan pooping in a can, kids and that, or trying to play Minecraft. Who knows? <laughs> or just any other uh, games. Or any uh, video games, or. One, uh, 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 two. Uh, 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 uh. So that's all the showbiz and some showbiz. My birthday's coming up. Oh, his birthday. Well, mine's more important. My birthday is today. No, it's not. It is today. Fuck you. Yeah, technically. Fuck you today. and your birthday. Yours is technically tomorrow. Oh, you whore. Oh, Whatever. Okay. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, tomorrow, today is my birthday. I am turning. You turned. I turned. Gay. It's supposed to be when you said you turned. <laughs> no. No. I'm coming out of the cabinet, which means I'm straight. That's a thing. Well, no, I mean, I'm taking back something, you know, taking back our country. <laughs> taking back our country. Yeah. Uh, so you're what? <laughs> you guys will be here all night. <laughs> so you were 34? Today I was. T- <laughs> today I am twenty. Today I am redacted. Okay, Justin, how old are you gonna be? I'm gonna be twenty-five. He's twenty-five. Ah, oh, that fucking cake. You know what's funnier than twenty-four? Twenty-five. Ah 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 ah. Oh oh. So getting older to the year of the blitz. So birth. So birthday. So how did they get up? So. How did this birthday shtick get all started? Was it a couple of people like, hey. Trump 2020. Trump 2020, blah, blah, blah. Uh, was, <laughs> was it, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, was it, uh. I don't know, was it? Who do you think started? Is it them? Uh, our birthday's even real, is it all a figment of our own imagination? I mean, we're all growing up. Like, Dude. you know, every year. Are you okay? Yeah, my toes. I'm sorry. Oh, she's like right here. 
Seven so birthdays eight. were started by the Chinese. No, I'm just kidding. Birthdays were started by. <laughs> what were birthdays started from? I don't know. Sorry. Birthdays, uh, for, to my regulation, birthdays, this whole. Bir- oh, first of all, disclaimer. Let me listen to the rant here. You only get a day, okay? I'm sorry. You only get a birthday, that's your day. You don't get no birthday week. I get birthday a birthday month. week. I don't know about y'all. Not this. Yeah, I don't get a birthday week. So I because get a birthday week. somebody, some side wanted equal rights. So, hey, you want a quad? You get a day. I get a week. Choke by point. Choke by point. Just kidding. It's my birthday month. I'm supposed to get a I, I never understood. I never understood. Birthday month, like. Yeah. It's a little really excessive. Good. But a week? It's gonna be the best week because yeah. it's my week. Well, how's it a week? I mean, if it leads up to Mom, the week, let's say let's say your birthday is on a in Friday. Labor for a week, so technically she was. <laughs> so technically, <laughs> I get a week. I mean, I don't understand. If your birthday's on a Friday, then okay, I guess. But if it's on a Monday or a Tuesday, then you don't get a week. Yeah. See, you don't what get if, a week. What if it's on a leap year? But my birthday's on a Saturday, so technically, I get the whole week. Well, I mean, every year is different. Well, this week, this year, it's this week. <laughs> speaking, week. Of, speaking of all that, you know what? I heard something the other day that blew my mind. What? If a tomato is a fruit, so isn't ketchup technically a smoothie? Ew. That's gross, the thing of ketchup. I fucking hate ketchup. I but love water burger ketchup. That's the only ketchup I'm obsessed okay. with. But just like regular ketchup is like... Mm. Yeah, when I was a kid... In cap in like when we go to lunch, in a lot of, what are you I was gonna say in, in the cafeteria when we would eat lunch. Um, can I get a young cat? A lot, a lot of kids would like be like, "Oh, like who can eat this?" And they just mix a bunch of shit in that oh, little yeah. fucking cup, oh, and I would eat. Is that brother's patty sauce? I guess so. Yeah. But yeah, I'd, they'd give me a dollar if I eat like gross shit. Jesus, Zen, sorry. Yeah, Zen's uh, on some crack cocaine today. Your nails are like kind of digging. Oh, okay. So Zen breaks, Zen technical difficulties. Is so we Zen technical difficulties. Let's go to commercial. Playing Overwatch. Hello. The game is loading. I made food that is ready right now. It's already. It just dinged. Sit in my spot. Yo, but he's playing cards. <laughs> what a shame. And we're back. And we're back. So, birthdays. Let's go to my regulations. To my regulation. That um, I believe. No, I believe. I I remember looking. I, I remember. I remember looking at that birthday started with the was the Egyptians because because they have pharaohs, which is a king to them, and they want to signify birth of a god. I, Think, which is back in 2000 BC. 2000. And then later, candles were invented by the Greeks. But the whole tradition, the whole thing, this all started. Birthdays weren't a thing until the calendar was invented. So shout out to the Catholic. Shout out to the which Egyptians. ended in 2012. If you believe. Wasn't that the thing? Like, the world was going to end in 2012? Because the. Well, people wanted the world to end for like a long time. But it was 2020. No, 2020. <laughs> Um, and then it was 2012, it was the Y2K, it was something in the 90s, I don't remember. Uh, stock, the stock market crashed. And... Ancient Romans were the first to celebrate birthdays for the common man. But just in? men. Oh. But only men celebrated. Only men, not women? Fuck. That's crazy. Probably just because of like, pharaohs and shit. Ancient moments. Well, I mean, to be, well, Cleopatra was a big thing, right? She, well, yeah, she was. Who was, uh, fucking made by, uh... China? No. Who was made by China? their cousins or something? China. Huh? Yeah, yeah, some, some pharaoh was, like, he only lived to be, like, 
18 because he was a child of incest. Oh, really? I think, yeah. I've heard that. Yeah. Well, I mean, man. Yeah. Right? That's a whole thing. Well, the, you can look that up. Well, it's a whole conspiracy. I mean, not conspiracy, but a whole thing when it comes to the royal family of, of England, which is, which I think is dumb. I mean, you're not a king and queen. I mean, that's kind of retarded. But yeah. Um, that originally, that whole, the whole, that basically say like a pure blood, that it's all, they're all birth out of incest. In yeah. King Tut. There you go. There you go. I don't know. Tell you. He was disabled, malarial, and inbred. DNA shows. Shout out to the South. Mm. Okay. Like, you she's gonna call me here. Yeah. Yeah. So, I like I like like learning about uh, ancient Egyptian shit in school. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I've been not always been a fan of history. Like that's kind of crazy. Like I mean. There's a whole thing when it comes to the pyramids, especially. I mean, it's like, like how did that all come about? Like, how did what? The, the like pyramids. pyramids. Like when it comes to the blocks and stuff. Like how did that all come to to, to be? I mean, wasn't it a thing? Pe- well, people think and like because uh, Zan's eating plastic. Just let her. Zan, stop eating plastic. Zan. Just let her. She wants to be on the show. This is my moment. You're ruining my day. Yeah, really but didn't they make that to like communicate with like other gods or I, something? I think they made it. Well, well, it, well, it aligns with the stars. But they, well, when people were researching and they carbon dated the fact, they carbon dated the pyramids after, like, before the Egyptians. The Egyptians just found it. Um, Wait, who made the pyramids? It was the Egyptians. It's all like iffy. People say it was the. What? You, we, can, we, can look, we can look it up. Well, let me vent. Let me, let me put my facts out there in case. Facts? Well, facts. facts. Oh, no. My brain. College brain. Yeah. But, like, people carbonated it to be like it was the Egyptians or wasn't the Egyptians. But when it comes to who built it, people, people, the whole thing is like it was Jewish, you know, Jewish slavery, right? The Jewish people made it. But you look more deeper and they, people... The Jews? It, apparently it was all Jewish slaves that made it, but in reality it wasn't because they were looking more into like like digging up more history of it and finding out that no, it was just basically it wasn't them, it was just like casual workers like working from five to eight or eight to five or willingly yeah. do it. I mean it's kinda like What um, did they build it out of? What are the term? so it's I don't think it's stone. Because it's, it's lasted it's, so long. I mean, it's it, it's some sort of rock, right? But the thing is, it's like... It's a mineral. But the thing is, that they got it from, like... I think they had to cross rivers, but, like, say, imagine, like, it was... Like, rocks were over here, and the pyramids were over there. So they had to build a way to get it over there. Yeah. But most people are thinking that when, over time, basically, when they... As they perished, they lost the technology as well. It's like, if a meteorite hits us right now... You know, of all the iPhones, technology, internet, you know, whoever finds us, you know, civilization, we're not going to find anything. We're just going to see, like, old, broken yeah. things. So yeah, it's yeah. Like we're lost without technology, and they think that's what most happened. So they may think they found, like, the right way to do that. What are you eating? She's already puking. And... No, she's not. She's just watching. And we're back. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't know. It doesn't really... But... The whole worker thing, but they're saying like the reason that they got out there, like it was Jewish workers. They said it was like marketing for the Jews to be like, hey, we were this, 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 that. Yeah. So we're bad for us. Yeah. Exactly. Um. Yeah, but inside, I want to fucking go inside. Can you? Uh-huh. Yeah, because aren't the what's yeah, it called barrels? Yeah. Barrels. But they're like barrels. deep tunnels, like fucking tunnels and tunnels and tunnels. Just secret rooms that you cannot even, you know, like, yeah, yeah. it's fucking crazy. I want to see it. Go. And apparently there's, like, um, inscriptions that mean a bunch of shit that, like, there's apparently, there's, like, a fucking thing that's like a, a helicopter that looks like a helicopter. Are you serious? Yeah. You can look it up. Who you never know, like, like, like uh, I said, like, maybe, what if they had, like... Egyptian helicopters, just put that. What if they had helicopters, like, what if they had, like, a better... Means not like, no. not like like technology we have now, like electronically. But what if they have like, yeah. like stone, wind, Trevor put this Trevor Ray, 
and then just ways of getting shit done faster. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. very, very primitive gold standard type thing. You know? Yeah. And, you know, it's just like, I mean, they could have like, I mean, it's like, it's like when it comes to iPhone, when they lost Steve Jobs, it's like, sure, there's another iPhone. He died. Steve Jobs. Kidding. But, you know, if you don't have Steve Jobs there, you know, cracking the whip on the scientists, being like, hey, fucking, I want this, 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 do it! Without him, because, you know... Whoop. She's fine. Trey's like, this is my birthday! I'm gonna kick a cat in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> here. You'd be like that fucking bitch that, like, spits on her dog. Uh, she uses YouTube. Oh videos. yeah. She like pat it. Yeah, then she, she, she try to backtrack like, yeah. oh, I didn't spit. Yeah. <laughs> but um, oh yeah, I was gonna say, dude, like they can, the same? Oh. they can use like a million, not a million, but like thousands of men to move that fucking massive. Have you ever like you've seen a compared picture from a human to one of the fucking square one yeah, yeah. square? Like they're fucking huge. massive. And yeah. that's, that's why they're saying, like, it couldn't be, like, Jewish slavery because they're cracking the whip. I mean, oh, that's what I was saying. Well, I'll get back to later. They're cracking the whip because if we're... How are you going to get someone to move something over here willingly? You know, you can crack... Even if they don't want to do it. I mean, you, what else did they have to do? I mean, you can crack the whip on somebody so many times. And I'm saying it's not going to be... Yeah. I mean, you can get, like, uh, uh, like trees and just, like... Sorry. No, I, just, I don't mean, like, the, the moving thing, but I mean, like, the people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, like... If you have like, well, like, you know, let's go like slavery. It's yeah. like sure they treated them like shit, but they gave they gave them enough lashings. Not lashings, but they gave them food. They gave them stuff to make sure they were, make sure they were good enough to, good enough to do the work. I'm yeah. saying it's like they're not gonna buy a car and poke holes in the tire. It's not gonna be a good investment. I'm saying. Yeah. Expensive as fuck. So I think when it comes to the whole moving the pyramids and thing, I don't believe that it was like pure like yeah. the entire time because you know, eventually people are gonna revolt. It's like I wonder what happened after the Egyptians. Like, in what way did they like advance? Like, where did they go off to? You know? Yeah. They died. Are they still Egyptians living now? Well, obviously, yeah, but yeah. that's that time. But like, like as far as like that, that time period, to yeah. say. Because if you think about it, I think I think they were on a land that was fully protected. I mean, if you think about it, there's the river, right, the Jordan River, and they got a visit to the right. Mm-hmm. But when the when it rains or when the water hits a certain coast, crops, food, and all that shit on this side at a certain right at time, so you got time to harvest. Yeah. And you got you don't have to worry about anybody invading you because you got the desert over here, you got water over here, so it's like you're fully good to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you have that society flourishing and thriving, I mean you're gonna get shit done. What's your take on this? Uh, uh where do you weigh in? I don't know. I just think it all has I re- I heard that it all has to do with like alien. <sighs> <laughs> I, I believe so. I mean, like, you know? Yeah, I mean, they use it to, like, because they use it for what? You said align with the stars? Yeah. So but, I think, like, their gods were actual, like, aliens. Like, I mean, to be honest. That came to this. Yeah. I was going to say, to be honest, there's, like, fucking inscription or things on the fucking walls that are, like, birds that are man. Yeah. Well, like, they're gods and dogs that are man. Yeah, that's what I, I saw, too, that they think, like, their gods that they said they saw were actually like aliens. Yeah. Because they didn't know like back then like what, about like, aliens. Yeah. They, they just thought just, like, oh, somebody's coming from the sky. That's God. Like. They just know their own race. The Egyptians. Yeah. They don't know anything else. Yeah. Well, because like the Sphinx, I remember this theory like, oh, this thing on the Sphinx that um that was found like they didn't make that. Yeah. So it's like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um. Just let her. It's not her birthday. <laughs> well, technically, it kind of is. When I got her in May, she was like, what, two, four months, three months? So, oh, don't, yeah. don't say anything. Zen. What's your take, Zen? It's your moment, Zen. 
She's not having it. All right. All right, and we're back. And we're back. But yeah, yeah, the whole everything. Mm, but yeah. Who knows? I was more into like Greek mythology. Oh! Hey. Like a uh, 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 Zeus and all that. Yeah, Athena, fucking. I think all of it's pretty like interesting. Well, yeah. To even hear about. But different gods. I mean, when it comes to Egyptian gods, when it comes to. Well, yeah. Yeah, just the whole thing in general. Oh, hey, what's the, who are you fucking? Hello, what's that girl's name? What's that girl's name? That fucking streamer and I like tossed her cat. Yeah, yeah, what's her name? I have no uh, fucking. Oh, oh, oh a fucking. Shit, she's heavy. Alinity. Alinity? Alinity. Say Bison! Bison! She's, she's, a, she's a hashtag Twitch Live, oh. originally. Twitch um, Yeah. She puts her boobs out, out there? Yeah. <gasps> That's pretty cool. Yeah, she, not that she threw her She married a guy in Canada to get a green card and then divorced him a week later. He's a good person. Allegedly. Uh, shout out. Well, like at least she wasn't a nice person. You said birthdays first started as a form of protection. What do you mean? It says it is assumed that the Greeks adopted the Egyptian tradition of celebrating the birth of a god. They, like many others, pagan cultures, Thought that the days of major change, such as these birthdays, welcomed evil spirits. There you go. Um, what are pagan? Uh, they were like basically wild. Rip. No, she had plastic. Wild what? No, go ahead. Wild what? What are pagans? It's a religion. It's a religion. It's like it's kind of like think of like uh, gypsies, hippies. Oh, okay. Hippies, hippies, uh, fucking. Uh, Fucking uh, hippies, there you go. That's what you just said. I said hippies. Oh, I thought you meant like a. What are they called? Gypsies. Gypsies. But that's a slang. Uh, Castles already. But yeah. Hmm. It just doesn't go okay. good. I'm just kidding. Pagan stalks that evil spirits lurked on days of major changes, like the day you turn a year old. So they celebrated birthdays so to protect you from evil spirits. Damn! Yeah. But, you gotta, you, gotta, you, from but you gotta, you got But you gotta think about the, you gotta think about the pagans. Also, remember, there's the same people who freaking cut open their animals and sheep and dogs and slap women with them because they thought it's gonna be oh, yeah. fun. Shout out to Valentine's Day. And the same, same people, same pagans. Yeah, but I mean, like, uh, well, people do a bunch of shit that like doesn't make sense. Now, you know, like, oh, like so oh, later, fashion. yeah, later on in the future, people are gonna look back at us and be like, why the fuck were are people, they yeah, like, why, what's the fucking keto dad? Like, are they fucking dumb? It's keto, what about vegans? They're fucking idiots. Like, why are they just, you know, like, we have canine teeth for meat consumption? Like, you know, what? <laughs> also, gonna, keto. if you make your cat keto, no, if you make your cat vegan, you're a piece of shit, dude. I will not apologize for that. I read. I read this story about these two. You ever seen cats on fucking re- being vegan? They're just like miserable. Like, yeah. Like they're fucking like they've been to the Holocaust, dude. They're just like not vegan. I uh, I saw this. I saw this. I saw this article. Uh, these two parents got life in prison because their baby was sick and they refused to take it to the doctor, and they were both Christian. And we're back. Yeah. Trey, what are you doing? Yeah. Trey, hello. We do it. What are you doing? We do it live. And, <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. All right, I was going to say when I was in second grade, I didn't get held back, but I think I was in remedial. Like, they were like, eh, these kids, they have, they're slow learners. Fucking put them with this teacher. And that, in second grade, I learned how to use chopsticks. I drew chopsticks. Huh? Well, what class was this? Second grade, I learned how to use chopsticks by reading a story, and she brought noodles for everybody. She made ramen noodles, and she was like, "Okay, here." And she had the 
I thought you learned chopsticks from your people that. In, 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 no. I knew how to use chopsticks because I, in second grade I was younger, but when my grandma took a care of Vietnamese kids, I already knew how to use chopsticks. So they were like, what? I thought you told me they taught you. No. Um, and yeah, I, uh, I learned how to use chopsticks in second grade. I learned how to grow uh, plants. I grew an eggplant. Never. And I made eggplant soup. And we made homemade ice cream. I made ice cream in the third grade. I fucking hate that. We should make ice cream. I like that. Fucking that. We, uh, it's crunch, we, we made legit pizza, like pizza pizza, but it was like, pizza, a, pizza. <laughs> it was the fat, the pan, so it was like really fat, oh, I fucking hate it. But yeah, it was the best grade, second grade, shout out Miss Dawson, like she's grade. at the fucking library in Rojando, give her a shout out, shout out, boom, okay. boom, oh yeah, so, birthday, so, is there anything you want to say, just, uh, anything, I'm happy y'all are living another year. I'm happy I'm living with both of you. I love you very much. And I want to marry you very soon, one day. Trey, you're all right. Thanks. I love you, but Thanks. you're the fucking asshole. <laughs> all right, let's eat this. Cow. <laughs> but I love you. Um, Trey, anything? Anything you want to say? Oh, fuck! Sorry. Did you uh, I'm playing a lot of saying, well, I mean, it's... The video did you be, like, real or just, like... It's pretty real. But, I mean, I fucking lit the candles. Because... Okay, okay, let me do We're gonna eat wax. <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that I did not, th that I did not think or... I didn't think I was gonna live this long. I didn't think I deserved to live this long. Um, because I know when I, I know I told the story long over and over again, especially when I was drunk. <laughs> they don't mind. But uh, when I was I think in eighth grade or seventh grade, um, I had a shitty day, went to school late, and the teacher was a science teacher. I remember his name. I don't give out his name because I don't give him credit for whatever, or vice versa. And at this time, I didn't talk to anybody. I was quiet, really introverted, and. You know, I was late. Walk, let's say right now I walk in, it's like, why are you late? And it's like a stubborn teacher, so I'm being a dick. So at this time I couldn't talk, so it was like more like, more like worse. That's your slice. More like worse, or like I can mm, this and that. So yeah. it made me stand up in the class for no reason. But you know, when you're that young, you know, you still like, you know, images everything, just like, oh, I want to be the cool guy, you know, just trying to fit in. And end up fucking just destroying me inside, so I just fucking be in. Up there for like basically like bombing in a stand up comedy way, like just bombing for like five minutes trying to get a word out in front of everybody, especially that girl in the back that I like. <laughs> Shout out. And so I remember just like, I was dead, my life's over, fuck all this bullshit, I'm done. Like, my life's just over. Fucking just done. That fucking third grade. Yeah, and we were talking about, I guess, we're talking about this fucking evolution, or whatever. So as he's walking around giving his little spiel, I remember he looking at me, he's like, oh, some of us are only here to reproduce, and that's it. That's all you're gonna do. And, and that shit, right? So that shit always fucking haunted me. And, um, you know, shout out to fucking this guy named Israel, because at this time, that he's the one that kind of took me in. He's kind of gangsterish, but he's the one that took me in, brought me in. It's like, you're not the one with that shit, so. Uh, the reason why I said I didn't deserve to live this long, because, you know, you know, you meet people like Israel, and you meet people that also kind of help you along the way because it's, it's, it's a quick story of two, stuff, two teachers you know t this teacher was a shithead fucking put me on the wrong path but the same year i met a teacher man, shout out to miss karen she's the one that served me was the good to the bad to this yeah. Fucking asshole. Yeah. she's the one that inspired me to talk more and more and I was running for city council yeah. and she i will she, not she, let you down she's right. one of those teachers that she went above and beyond. Yeah. She helped me talk more. We were practice talking, talking about speeches. She made fire. She made this above and beyond, right? And so I remember writing that speech. I remember like the last words, like I will not let you down. I'm gonna try to get that video to the Shepherds. You see it, but you know, if you meet people that are gonna fucking knock you down, fucking say you're not gonna do this, or you meet somebody that's gonna fucking believe in you. And over the span of my life, I've met incredible people that fucking got me to this, this spot, right? And I guess you're part of it. I just want to say, like, when we wrap it up, I won't cry. 
But I want to say, um, I just want to thank fucking. I want to thank God. I feel God in this room tonight. I want to say, um, I wish that fucking. I wish that fucking. I wish. I wish. I wish the friends that helped me along the way were still fucking here to this day. That, that's the shit I think about every fucking birthday. I think about fucking Israel. I think about JJ. I think about Melanie. I think about Joe. I think about Mina. I think about John. I fucking think about, you know, my grandfather, not even the Nino, the first one. You know, I, I was never, I guess, never had a chance to really talk to him and now I hear is like, I'm just like him, especially from my dad, you know, there's two of us on the third. And, you know, he was there for my birth, you know. Yeah. You know, I was there when I entered this world and I just wanted to thank God that I was there to see him exit this world. You know yeah. And he, he taught me the Florida lesson the entire time because the doctor, you know, she, you know, it was going bad and it was a Saturday and they said, hey man, like, he's not going to make it today. Day, he didn't end up passing away until a week later. Mm-hmm. He left, and the lesson I learned was, hey, you, you, doesn't matter what situation you were in, you end life on your own terms. He didn't go yeah. until he was on to go. So yeah. I learned that fucking lesson. And that's all it is. Like, sure, I may put out a video and do do stupid stuff online. Do like, oh, you're 29, you're still acting foolish and shit, and you're doing this. That's not really an appropriate thing for your age, or. You're not invited to fucking Sunday dinners or whatever. It's just like, dude, this is me, man. I was like, I'm not gonna apologize for shit anymore. This is me. This is who I am, man. And this is, I'm proud to be who I am. And, this you know, is me. Blow out the first candle. The white candle. What, the white and you? Just the white candle. Okay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Here, wait. It's room. I had a teacher tell me in the no, 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 no. sixth grade, well, it's someone closest to me, in the sixth grade that, because I kissed a boy in two or three Wait, years, wait. Okay. That I was going to let a boy, I was going to let boys get into my pants when I was older. And I was going to be a slut, essentially. And I remember I cried so much, and I, I, I left, I like, I fucking booked it. I was like, Mom, come pick me up. And I remember Dude. I saw that bitch. Like, that no, lady, I saw her like even a couple of years ago. And I was like, "That's that bitch." Look at me now. You, you should be I like, "Hey, dude, slut. I don't know if you remember, but you told me that I was gonna be a slut." Like that really fucked me up when I was a kid. You should like, I would fucking say that. Before. What? Well, hold on. in out to relate in. Um, oh wait. Oh, okay. I'll do it again. In in uh, to relate uh, in third grade. I didn't have a, a, a fucking uh, paper, mm-hmm. and I was like, I left it at home. He's like, no, you didn't. It's in your backpack. You leave everything in your backpack. I'm like, no, I, I left it at home. He's like, give me your backpack, and just dump everything in front of the fucking class in my backpack. And he's like, look for it. And I didn't know what anxiety was, and I had an anxiety attack. And I was like, <clears throat> like I could not fucking breathe in third grade. Third fucking grade. And he would like go behind kids and like fucking hit him in the back of the head. I'm like, what, what's wrong with you? Like, you know, like... Like, I don't understand why people think that that shit's okay. But it, I don't know. But thank fucking God people aren't as dicks yeah. as they were back then. But anyways, I guess that shit made us into the people we are today, and I'm thankful. Yeah. If I were to see that guy again, like, I would I would just say, you know what, man? If, if you'd never told me that, I wouldn't fucking... I'd be so much better in life right now. Yeah. I wouldn't follow my passion and just basically like talking and fucking reaching out to people and helping people out. Yeah. So that, that's something I want to do and that's something I love to do. But hey. So we made it. We happy made, birthday. We made it some apprehension. Happy we birthday. It. We made it. We made it. Woo! We will see you next it time. It worked! <laughs> we will see you next time. Yeah. Love and appreciate those around you. We're going to have this fat fucking pancake. We have cake, so I do play the outro music. We shall see you in the next one. I love you. Well, I like that, dude.